me, on my dashboard, I have two Garmin Solar Watches. The red one, I think it's called, is it Lava Red? Sure, we'll say Lava Red. And then the white one right there, that is the Garmin Forerunner 955 Solar. They are very similar in functionality. The screens are different, one's color, one is monochromatic, black and white. One is really beefy and rugged, like a G-Shock, because that's what Garmin was going after. Wanted to steal customers. Well, it wanted to lure customers over from Casio and satisfy their G-Shock needs and dreams. Also, one is, well, smarter in a way. And it doesn't have to do with exercise. Do you know what it is? Come on. Just guess, guess, t just take a wild guess what the one huge difference is between the Instinct 2X Solar and the 955 Solar, a Forerunner runner watch. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few minutes to pontificate while those charge on my way to work. Hello again, it has been hours. I'm now done with my meetings for the day. Ah! 16.45, so what happened with the watches? Do you know? I want to know. Curious minds need the data. Let's take a look. This is where the watches have been sunbathing safely in my car. And if we look right here, ooh, 58 days, 58%, 58 days left. I look at the solar intensity, whoa, 102K. What does that even mean? It's provocative, but what does it mean? Oh, and then I have an average of 37.7. That's cool. Now, one thing it's missing is it's not telling me how much the battery percent went up today alone. I mean, it shows me, oh yeah, the battery percent is 30, uh, sorry, 58% in 58 days. Kind of curious. And that's in battery saver mode. But still, in battery saver mode, I can quickly turn on a workout. It's tracking flights of stairs, steps, time, date. It does quite a bit. This phone, sorry, this watch will even charge when it's off. The battery can completely die, and I can put this out in the sun for an hour, and it'll go up 3 to 5% depending on sunlight intensity. And then we have the other one. What to say about this timepiece? Now, if you have a Forerunner, you already know what I'm about to say. And the thing that it's missing is logging. <laughs> I'm almost positive that this one is right about the same age as the Instinct 2X, just, just maybe a little bit older but this one has the newer operating system. <sighs> Garmin, why do you do this to me? Why do you cause so many conundrums in my life? Maybe that's not the right word. Why do you cause... You create too many questions, and it's quite confusing. So you come back from a long workout, or you've been outside walking, and just lots of sun, and you're wondering, oh, you know, did my battery life go up? Well, it did. It did go up. Well, look at all that solar intensity. That's, what does that mean? Okay, I had spikes of 78, but then there, there's no logging. I have to do the math in my head. Okay, it's at 10% two days. It was not at 10% over five hours ago. Here's the screenshot of what the battery life was. Oh, it just, oh, that's funny. Yeah, I didn't even have it in battery saver mode. My bad. I forgot to do that. It probably could have gone up even more had I done just that. Oops, I've had a busy day. This is the exact same step count that it was over five hours ago. No steps, so you can, there we go, it tells. Whereas this one, this is what the battery life is now, and here's the screen. Here's the photo of what it was over five hours. Big difference. This one charges faster, lasts longer, and it has the logging to let you know, oh, yes, the battery percent went up 2%, 3%, 8%, and it's because of the lux hours. Normally what I find that for every 100 lux hours, I get anywhere from 2 
to 4% battery. This one, it doesn't do that at all. And it's a huge disappointment Garmin, especially for the price tag of four to $500. Really, this is the only thing I don't like about this watch. And if this doesn't matter to you, I think you're really, really gonna like the Garmin Forerunner 955 Solar. And who knows, maybe later in 2024, they will upgrade this with solar logging, which they should for all devices. I, I can't imagine that it's a hardware incompatibility. I think it's directly software. So Garmin, fix the solar analytics on the Forerunner and copy and paste from the Instinct 2X please. And that's it. One of the main differences between the Instinct 2X Solar and the 955 Solar. The Forerunner, really nice, has a nice sleek design, has the color screen. It doesn't hold a candle to the battery life. This one, because it charges so fast and the battery is so efficient because of that monochrome screen, I made it 88 days on this. Although the last five days, I was averaging a good six hours of sunlight a day, more than the average human can muster, unless you want to get melanoma skin cancer. So it's almost, I would say, it's very unlikely that you'd be able to get to 88 days unless you're a lifeguard or you have an outdoor job at high altitude where you can just chill in the sunlight and angle your wrist just right. Do I recommend the Instinct 2X over the Forerunner 955 Solar? Just depends what you like. Really, that's one of the main differences beside the screen. They both collect the same data. They have the body battery factories. You know, I don't know if this one tracks naps yet. I'll have to check on that. Maybe this one doesn't, but they both have body battery, body, body, body battery factories. They have the weather, they have a built-in barometer so you can, you can check the temperature of your room, all that fun stuff. And they both have the same sensor 4.0 technology on the back. So as far as that hardware, it is the same. It's just basically personal preference. Do you want color? Do you want monochrome? Do you want a real rugged watch? Or do you want something sleeker, maybe a little more comfortable to wear? But I'll tell you, this one, even though it is bigger, it's not that much heavier, and it is really comfortable to wear. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, one of these could change your life, help you get off the couch, track your sleep, track your steps, flights of stairs, all that fun stuff, give you body, body battery feedback. That's hard to say, body battery. <laughs> good times. Thank you for clicking on by. I'll have another video soon. And yes, my name's Peter, and I am still the man with two watches. Goodbye. Okay, I was wrong. There actually is one kind of big difference, and it has to do with the screen. Maps. Instinct Solar, you don't have a color map like this or really much of a map if you just launch hiking or walking or lots of other different activities you can get right into the map hike settings training i can go right to navigation courses points of interest around me so in just a second yeah yeah so if you were lost and you need to find a hospital you know or china cafe or downtown Springville, or the Civic Center, or a fire department, this watch without a nearby phone would help you navigate. So similar navigation to a lot of other watches by Garmin, and the detail is actually pretty cool. How fast is it? Well, if I exit that, go back into hike, and as you can see, yes, I'm outside, just in my car. Then I can long press, pan and zoom. And now I can zoom out quickly and you can see that I'm in the city of Springville. Pretty cool, right? And you can zoom all the way out and get kind of an aerial view of the state of Utah. How much, well, it goes out pretty far actually. 
There we go. I'm in the USA. Kind of fun. Of course, yes. Maps on your smartphone or sometimes just a topographical map can be better than a small map on a watch. But still a big difference between the Instinct 2X Solar and this 4Runner 955 Solar. <laughs>